down for open mic. Hope you have a limerick or two off the top of your head. <laughs> that would be one of the whole right? Great pleasure to welcome Candice Chen. Do you know this lady, director of the Royal City Literary Arts Society, member of the League of Canadian Poets, member of the Writers' Union of Canada Past, President Federation of BC Writers, Past President Royal City Literary Arts Society, author <coughs> of numerous books. How many? Nine. See what I mean? Nine. <laughs> that, means, that means nine, none in German. <laughs> Please welcome our old friend Candice James. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. This strange little thing here. Hmm. Oh well, let's see. It almost feels like it's gonna attack me. What? I'm going deaf and enjoying every minute clip I didn't hear a word. Anyhow, I'm gonna do two poems, so I'll start with the one all of you I'm sure will like, and then I'll end with the one you might not enjoy so much. This one's about poetry. About poetry. Everybody thinks of poetry a bit differently, I believe. This is how I think of it, and it's called the afterglow. Words come together in unisons and forms. Some create tsunamis, others summer storms. Words can hold a world of wisdom in a tender tear or wipe away deep seated scars, the wounds of yesteryear. Poetry is a horse of another color, a mare that's thrown its shoe, a dog that's slipped its collar, an independent wildcat born of another ilk, purring satin stanzas, weaving them with silk. When words are linked in meter or wrapped inside a form, they weave a magic world of heartbeat and mind storm. The universe and cosmos fill our imagination and poetry's the afterglow of soul's inspiration. The sweet the bittersweet and poetry create the afterglow. 